Hello and welcome to this Thought for the Day. We have just celebrated the Feast of the Holy Trinity and it was lovely to be back at St Peter's um, for, for the service and to have a, a growing sense of uh, some normality returning to our practice of our faith. And it was, <clears throat> it was um, refreshing to hear um, Father Hughes' uh, sermon about the Holy Trinity and um, especially uh, the acknowledgement um, very early on in his sermon that the Trinity, that understanding of God, uh, is essentially one of mystery, that no matter how much we say, no matter how many metaphors we have, we never exhaust the mystery of the Trinity, that we're fundamentally talking about God uh, who is beyond our comprehension, our human understanding. But nonetheless, it's a search that we continue to make and to apply ourselves to in our lives. But we cannot speak with uh, certainty of literalism and the fanaticism that characterises some parts of the um, world's uh, religions and seems to me that there a lot of the problems of the world are this overclaiming of religious uh, certainties. And this being a time of lock-up and watching a lot of TV on Netflix and everything, I found myself watching recently two uh, very interesting programs about extremist groups. The first program I saw was uh, over a series uh, called Unorthodox, which is a, um, based on an autobiographical book by a woman called Deborah Feldman, uh, formerly uh, a member of a Hasidic uh, Orthodox um, Jewish community in New York, and her struggles to escape for that and claim her own life outside um, uh, uh, practices that she no longer could bring herself to uh, to follow, and um, that was um, uh, that was uh, that was the first of two disturbing programs really that I saw. The second was a series called Caliphate, which was a story made in Sweden. I'm not sure uh, to what extent it was based on historical events, but it certainly seemed to be. Um, a lot of uh, giving insights into terrorism um, uh, in uh, and what's happening in Sweden and uh, especially to, uh, terrorist groups, Swedish people who are uh, going to Iran to become terrorists. They've been radicalised in Iran. And once again, uh, a deeply disturbing program, particularly this one, uh, not so much one person's struggle for individual freedom and personal um, uh, personal um, a, a, a life exploration, but in this case something um, which was quite barbaric and violent about um, these people, um, Islamic terrorism. And I say these things uh, being aware too that the Christian church uh, is not immune to its own forms of fanaticism and over-literalism of our belief and over-claiming uh, of, uh, of truth that is, um, is only a, a fragment of the universal picture of the, um, of the faith of Christianity. We may think of the problem in the United, problems in the United States of racism, a lot of it which is religiously, religiously based. And we may also recall that um, uh, the strong support, some 80% of um, the evangelical churches in America who voted for Donald Trump at the last election and continue to support him uh, in, um, in the claims that he makes and the decisions that he takes. And uh, in all of this, I... Um, I found myself thinking back many years to um, a, a very old film clip that I saw uh, uh, of uh, Bertrand Russell, that um, patrician, craggy-faced man in black and white television, uh, being interviewed, and he was probably in his mid-80s when he was being interviewed. And the interviewer, toward the end of the interview, uh, asked him, 
uh, if he had advice to young people, uh, what he would say to them. And he replied, beware, uh, something like this, these aren't his exact words, of course, but this is the general gist of what he was saying. He said, I would say to them, beware of dogma, of people who speak of certainties and tell you what to think. And then he added with a smile, that's just my opinion, of course. Well, what then can we say of the Christian church, particularly as we think of, um, we come off um, this uh, talking about this mystery, which is sacred to us and precious, and yet we never let go of the sense that it is truly mystery, God as Trinity. And what does that have to say to us about a church and what we have to say to people? And uh, uh, what then, where are we? in our world and what uh, the church and Christianity brings to it. And I thought of um, Father Andrew Hamilton, that uh, wonderful Jesuit theologian, uh, what he wrote, and I made a note of it at the time, He it was a review he made of a book in 2017. It was a book called The Tempest Tossed Church by Gerard Windsor. And Windsor was writing the Tempest Toss Church. In this case, was the Roman Catholic Church that was dealing from the fallout of the pedophilia and the child abuse um, problems, which uh, uh, continued to shake the church and to cause it to um, rethink itself. And uh, Father Andrew said that the book will invite some Catholics to ask how they should visualise and plan for the future of the Church. Its exploration suggests that they should not see themselves as developers. They will be small-scale gardeners who preserve for a more human time the craft and wisdom of preparing soil, seeding, nurturing and pruning in their seasons. And he writes of the Catholic challenge. It's a large C Catholic that he uses, but I think it could also be uh, appropriated uh, to um, uh, to the wider church, the small C Catholic, in the sense of the universal church throughout the world. The Catholic challenge will be to shape pockets in which religiously literate and radical communities are formed around the symbols of faith. Its contribution to a more humane society will be made by joining other small groups in keeping alive the sense of something more and by passing on the craft of finding the words, symbols and silences that catch it. This is something I think that we are trying to do at St Peter's Eastern Hill and um, it's a wonderful thing and it's something that we can commit ourselves to, I think, in our lives. Passing on the craft of finding the words, symbols and silences that catch this something more that gives our, life such, our lives such meaning and hope. So may God bless us all and um, bye until next time. God bless. <laughs>